Hey now, and welcome to the KC Toy Reviews. We are here today with Optimus Prime Earth Mode by Yolo Park. Now in front of you, what might look like one solid amazing piece is actually a near 1,000 piece model kit. That's right, almost 1,000 pieces, I think it's right around 900 pieces, build this incredible version of Optimus Prime that we see in front of us. And again, just to stress, this is Optimus Prime based off the Bumblebee movie in his Earth mode. And of course, being that this is a model kit, it does not transform. And in front of us, Optimus Prime has both exceeded and shattered expectations of this release. And if you're at all curious why this is an amazing piece, then let's go ahead, fine comb some of those details, hold each other's hands, and dive right the hell goddamn in. <laughs> I'm a turtle. All right, so here we are again with Optimus Prime, specifically in his Earth mode. And again, this is a model kit. You probably wouldn't guess that based off the shot in hand, because obviously it looks incredible. But this thing took me a goddamn long time to build. Again, shy of 1,000 pieces. I think it's right around 900 pieces on the dot, which is absolutely insane. Now, I have built a ton of Gundam figures, even the Master Grade ones, and I will say this was a very difficult build. There were insanely small pieces. I cannot believe that the team over there at Yolo Park put this thing together. The way the instructions flowed, everything snapped together perfectly. And then what then formed in front of us obviously looks incredible. And as you can see from back to front, the details are phenomenal. The articulation is amazing from top to bottom. And the overall details are pretty spot on to the movie. And at the latter end of this video, I am going to put it side by side with the 3-0 Bumblebee Optimus Prime as well. Just so you can see a model kit next to an actual die cast solid build and how incredible these two look next to one another. And even the weapons themselves were a ton of pieces that you had to build together. And the only reason I even stress that is when my son saw both the axe and the gun, he was like, oh, did these just come right out of the box? And nope, they were a ton of pieces as well, but you would not know it based off of how fantastic everything clicks together and smooth it looks in front of us and of course alongside the axe you have the gigantic Optimus Prime blaster both of them fit snugly in the hands via a little peg system and as we shift our eyes to the legs we can really zoom in on those incredible details and it's also worth noting that this was all pre-painted you didn't need to paint anything everything just snaps together and looks the way it does so as we look at these amazingly detailed leg with all the gears the little ins and out in the nooks and crannies of this thing again hats off to the team over at yolo park for pulling off this amazing feat i cannot stress enough that the pictures do not do it justice and what i mean is the fact that this was just 900 tiny pieces that brought together these solid looking incredible optimus prime robotic legs that have full articulation motion and movement absolutely baffles me i have no idea how they put this thing together but there must have been a ton of trial and error. And of course, as promised, a quick side-by-side -side with 3-0 Optimus Prime. Now, if you already didn't know, the 3-0 version is on the left, mostly die-cast, but it does have a lot of plastic overlay. And then to the right, the incredible Yolo Park Model Kit Optimus Prime. Now, dare I say, the first thing that comes to mind is I'm not sure what we we're supposed to classify the scale of the Yolo Park version. It's a little bit too big for the MP class, as you can see in shot. And the reason I say that is I'm pretty sure the 3.0 version is an MP class. And of course, both of them non-transformable. Now, obviously, there are striking similarities with both of them. And I think we do need to hammer in that this is a model kit, the Yolo Park version on the right. And the reason I want to hammer in is because the 3.0 is a pre-assembled piece. So there's obviously going to be some differences in the way it looks in the die cast versus the Yolo Park. All the fun of building this thing is ripped from you if you go with the 3.0 version. However, both versions are clearly amazing. I am a massive fan of Optimus Prime, so I am ecstatic to have another version on my shelf and have these guys side by side. I think no matter what company makes Optimus, there is always going to be some slight differences between the two. And once paired together on your shelves, they only complement one another. A slight contrast, obviously a different shade in colors, brightness, weathering, but it all boils down to one of the best characters of all.
all time, and I will take every single version of Optimus Prime I can get my goddamn hands on. Yolo Park, you guys killed it. This is an amazing piece, as it sits side by side with one of my all-time favorite Optimus pieces by 3-0. And there we have it. Optimus Prime by Yolo Park. A 900-piece model kit that comes together and forms this incredible representation of Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie, specifically his Earth mode. It goes without saying, but this is non-transformable, and as I did mention earlier in the video, I'm not 100% certain what scale this is. It's very close to an MP class, and it will fit nicely in your collection unless you go for the very very larger versions, but as you can clearly see when he spins in front of us, the details from top to bottom and front to back are absolutely insane. It still blows my mind that this thing was 900 pieces, and I'm talking ridiculously small, insanely tiny pieces that I formulated and brought together, sometimes through frustration, but all in the end through love because it was an absolute delight. And of course, when you put it all together, that last clip that amazing satisfying feeling that you actually built this thing that you can articulate pose and put on your shelf as an incredible collectible just goes to show how amazing the team is over there at yolo park now i will say a quick plug they have a bunch of other kits the only other large kit like this would be shockwave and i'm not sure he's 900 pieces but it's going to be a very similar setup to this and then they have these other smaller kits that i want to say i don't know between 10 and 20 pieces that you click together that are much easier so if you're not into that gundam master grade there are other options by yolo park and every single one of them looks amazing rise of the beast old school g1 and then of course in front of us which is also based off of that old school g1 look is the bumblebee version of optimus prime and i think with all that said it's a great time to segue to a score on this piece and as it spins in front of me i almost laugh with the light because it is that crazy looking i mean this thing is amazing so i think the score that comes to mind is going to be a 9.3 out of 10 and i'm kind of combining everything together building this thing the fluid instructions and the end result were all an absolute delight and of course now i have this incredible piece to add to my optimus prime collection which is starting to get out of control at this point so in the end after building this thing and have it in front of me there are zero complaints and at a 9.3 out of 10 if you are into gundam if you are into model kits you would be crazy not to pick this up from yolo park it is still available directly from their website amongst other amazing pieces as i mentioned earlier so Pick this up now before it sells out and you will not be disappointed. So with all that said in a 9.3 out of 10, we're going to go ahead and start to wrap this up with Optimus Prime by Yolo Park, specifically from the Bumblebee movie, which in my opinion, being a massive Transformers fan, I actually thought the Bumblebee movie was pretty amazing. Rise of the Beast was also super fun, and I hope they continue on this trend because I am super curious how they are going to partner up with G.I. Joe in the future movies. So before I go on a huge tangent about Transformers and my love for them, I just want to stress again, this was an amazing build. Yolo Park knocked it out of the park, dare I say. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was a horrible joke. But anyways, you killed at Yolo Park. I cannot wait to get my hands on what's next. And normally I do this thing where I yank it at a shot and I do a loud noise and hopefully I don't break it. So we're going to do this now. Yolo Park, Optimus Prime, Bumblebee. Catch you guys next time. <laughs>